All right. Um, in this video, I will explain about why uh, the sine negative theta equals to negative sine theta and cos negative theta equals to cos positive cos theta and tangent negative theta equals to negative tangent theta. Uh, over here, I will explain why, uh, but I try to make it as simple as possible. Of course, the easiest way to explain why is by using the uh, graph to explain. Alright, so let's say if I draw the sine graph over here. So let's say this one will be my y axis. So you can see the sine graph actually look like this, right? So over here, this one is basically is the positive theta. So from here to here, the angle basically is a positive because it's zero is over here, right? And then maybe it's up to 360. Alright, so what happened for a negative side is you can see the cos graph basically is continue like this, isn't it? Uh, let me just draw it nicely a little bit. Um, right, so the cos graph basically will draw something like this. Uh, let me draw nicely a little bit. Alright, so cos graph will look like this. Okay, and then from here to here, this one is the negative theta, isn't it? So what does this mean is something like this. Example, if let's say I want to take the uh I want to take the 30 degree here. So you can see if I take the third uh maybe here I will say 40 degree. So over here, if I take the 40 degree over here, you can see actually I will take the positive value. So I just randomly see something like okay, sign 40. So it's something like 0 0.4, 0 0.64. So if you do the 40 degree at the negative side, it's over here, isn't it? We call it negative 40. So basically, you can see because uh, both of the graph is symmetry, uh, it's kind of symmetry, but on, on the inverse symmetry, something like that. So I should get, you should be able to guess this value basic, basically will be negative 0 0.64, isn't it? Yeah. If you not believe me, you can just type in your calculator something like or uh, sine negative 40. And then you should be able to get this value. So you can see, so no matter which value I take, so let's say I I trying to take um maybe like 270. If I take the 270 over here, you should be able to see actually I will get a negative one, isn't it? Negative one. And then if I take the negative 270, which is here, negative 270, I mean negative 270, I will get the positive one, isn't it? So you can see, basically they will get the same value, but one is positive, the other one will be negative. So same thing happens to tangent, because they, they are not exactly like totally symmetry. So, so their, rela their relationship, it, it will be positive and negative. So, so, this is a re reason why. This is a reason why. Um, with my positive angle, I will actually get the negative value. So in order to make them be the same here, so what I will say is something like, okay, let's say I trying to do this value, which is a uh, sine negative forty. I cannot say it's equals to sine forty, isn't it? Because sine forty like this, you can see actually I will get a positive value like this. So in order to make both of them equal, so I will add a negative by my side. Uh, by myself so then both of these one will be equal already because i know sine 40 if i add a negative it will totally same with the sine negative 40. so same idea if i take sine like example this one sine negative 270 i will get positive one isn't it but if i do the sine 270 over here actually i will get negative one so how to make both of them the same i can add a negative here then this one will become positive, right? Then both is positive the one. Uh, both is positive one. Then I can actually move the whole thing to here, isn't it? I can shift over here because then now they are the equal because both also is positive one. So if I draw out the tangent graph, you should be able to see that as well. Yeah, because my tangent graph actually will look like this. <laughs> my drawing is very bad. Okay, never mind. Let me just draw nicely a bit. Okay, if I draw out my tangent graph, you should be able to see the pattern. It will be like something like this. It will keep on continuous. 
So yeah. Okay, this is a ten tangent graph. You should know um this one will be 90 degree, this one will be 180 degree, and so on. This is 270. So over here, this one is negative 90, and then this one will be uh, negative 180, and so on. So over here, if you see carefully over here, let's say I say 45, because 45 is an easy value for tangent. So tangent 45, I basically I get positive 1. But if you go to the negative 45, which is the angle, negative 45, you should be able to guess you will get negative 1, isn't it? So in order to make the tangent negative theta, or same with the tangent theta, so you know you basically you have to add a negative phrase, because this is how the relationship works, because tangent negative 45 is negative 1, but tangent 45 is positive 1, they are not equal. So in order to equal them, you kind of need to add a negative phrase. So the special one over here should be, the cos negative theta, but it will equal to positive cos theta because both sine and tangent, you can see negative basically will give you the negative. Negative will give you the negative. So it's very easy to remember. So most of the students, when you see like uh, sine negative theta, you should know it's negative sine theta. Same idea as to tangent. But what happens to cos? So let's have a look on the cos here. So for the cos, right, your graph will be look like this, isn't it? So on the other side of the cos, it will look like this, isn't it? So, you can see, if let's say I will take um, any value, uh, maybe I take some value is easier to remember, maybe uh, 60 degree. Cos 60 degree we know is equals to uh, 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. And then you can see the cos negative 60, which is, uh, which is somewhere there. My graph is not perfect, <laughs> but it should make sense. So cos negative 60, you should get the same thing as well. I mean, logically, you should get the same thing. <laughs> okay, because my drawing is very bad here. But you should, from the graph pattern, you should be able to see the pattern, right? So therefore, uh, if example, I take uh, my 180 is negative one. If I go to negative 180, you can see basically I will get negative one as well, isn't it? Because both of them, okay, for cos graph, they are totally symmetry. That's why their relationship is not like one positive negative, like sine and, uh, like sine and tangent. They are totally the same here. So this is what happened for cos. And then uh, at a, one of the discussions I did just now, uh, yeah, because we actually, we do something like, uh, okay, we did something like this. Um, cos we did something like this like example cos negative 100 and then we say it's equals to cos 100 okay because just now i actually i trying to prove by doing the add sugar to coffee and yeah you should understand cos positive 100 we know what uh, positive angle basically here is zero right we will from the zero go 100 to the other side uh, so this is 100, isn't it? So negative 100 is mean from the zero here. I will rotate uh, clockwise. This angle in this direction, this one is in this direction, this one is negative 100. And both of them actually at the different quadrant. And one of the teacher actually asked me, they says, okay, cos negative 100, basically you will get a negative value, isn't it? You get negative value because only A and C cos will get positive value. So at T over here, uh, cos will be negative value. And it's true. But you check out the cos positive 100. What happened is the cos positive 100 also is negative value. Okay, so cos 100 will give you negative value. And cos negative 100 will give you negative value as well. So both of these, uh, both of these value are negative now the problem is are they the same or not then i would i just use the calculator to test this out cost 100 i basically i will get something like negative 0 0.17 and then i try to type the cost negative 100 and then i will get the exactly the same value also is negative 0 0.17 if both of them are same so I know I can actually say that cos 100 will equal to uh, uh, 
cos negative 100 because they are the same and you might think this one is maybe it's just coincidence you can test any value you want let's say we're trying to make the cos positive so we're trying to do something like okay um, let's say I say cos 30 see is it equals to cos negative 30 now this is my question okay because we know cos 30 equals to square root 3 over 2 and then 3 over 2 okay this is square root 3 over 2 and then what happened if you see carefully for this add sugar to coffee thing uh, cos 30 is something like this 30 degree and negative 30 is from 0 go negative direction right negative 30 and you can realize something like this uh, this one cos at the first quadrant cos is positive but cos at the fourth quadrant is positive as, as well so this one will give you positive and this one will give you positive as well and if you use the calculator you type cos negative 30 calculator actually will get will give you the exactly the same value as well so this one explain why uh, cos negative theta is equals to cos theta and then you can do the same testing from for the sine and tangent i pretty much very sure the formula is makes sense because i actually trying to explain that using the graph just now because based on the graph so no matter how you find uh, you find a negative value it will it will definitely same with the positive value but just the sign and cause uh, one value will be negative and the other value will be positive but tangent they will be exactly the same for positive and negative side Alright, so I hope this short video at least will make you understand better about this three formula because recently uh, the SBM actually they love to come out something like this especially they might think okay this one is considered a k bar question if you are not an SBM you might not know what is k bar means a uh, very high skill of uh, type of questions anyways I hope this video can make you understand about this kind of basic trigonometry identity Right, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.